What's up, guys? Moonlapse Nightwind here. Welcome to the third part of the full collection, 2021 edition, I guess is what we'll call it. This is going to be F through M, because F, G, H, I, J, and or K and L really don't have a whole lot, even all put together. I think I still, it's just a little bit more than all the M's. So let's just go ahead and get into it. First off, we have the Faceless with Akeldama and Autotheism. Then we have Fair to Midland with Fables from a Mayfly, What I Tell You Three Times is True. Next up we have Fear Factory with Demanufacture. Uh, Obsolete, the limited digipack there, as well as the limited digipack of Digimortal. Funny uh, pun there, haha. <laughs> Uh, then we have Archetype. Uh, this was actually released with uh, t in two different deluxe editions. Uh, one was this one with the uh, Australian Tour 2004 DVD. And then I think the other one was a behind-the-scenes DVD. Then we have The Industrialist. Oops, put these on the wrong way. And their most recent album, Genexus. Uh, I actually saw Fear Factory live um, a few years ago. I think it was... 2016, 2017, uh, it was their Demanufacture 20th or 20, 20th or 25th anniversary tour or something like that, uh, where they played Demanufacture in its entirety. Fantastic, fantastic band, and it's a shame that Burton left, uh, but he and uh, Dino had issues for a long time. Next we have Flyleaf with Memento Mori, the Remember to Live EP, and New Horizons. Then we have Frost with that stupid ass asterisk, uh, but fantastic band. Million Town, uh, Experiments in Mass Appeal, and Falling Satellites. That's all for the F's. Going on to the G's, uh, we have uh, Garden of Shadows with Oracle Moon, The Gentle Storm with The Diary. Uh, this was released as a two CD set uh, with uh, a gentle version and a storm version. Uh, you can see what they did with the name there. This was uh, Arian Lucasen uh, of Arion, of course, and Annika van Giersbergen, which she's done a lot of stuff. The Gathering, uh, Dev she's worked with Devin Townsend, she's worked with Arian before. Uh, but the gentle is like the acoustic version, and then the storm version is the metal version, essentially, is what it breaks down to. Then we have Ghost with Opus Eponymous. Infestissimum, uh, funnily enough, the deluxe edition for this and uh, one of the other ones is actually a jewel case instead of a digipack. But, so this is the deluxe edition. The If You Have Ghost EP. Meliora. The Pope Star EP. And then this is the other one uh, where the deluxe edition was the jewel case. Uh, Prequel. Next up, we have Ghost Gore with The House of the Devil. We have Gorgoroth with Under the Sign of Hell. We have Green Carnation with Light of Day, Day of Darkness, and The Quiet Offspring. We have Green Day with 1039 Smooth Out Slappy Hours, and then the book version of 21st Century Breakdown. Let's set that back up there. Then we have Grey Days with Amends. This is uh, the 2020 album that they put out. Uh, it's a bunch of re instrumental re-recordings of songs uh, from their band. Uh, this is Chester Bennington's band before Linkin Park. Uh, all the vocals are still original because he unfortunately passed away before uh, he got to re-record them. So still a great, great listen if you're a fan of uh, Chester's. Moving on to the H's, we ha or in uh, I guess in the UK they say H. Uh, it's weird, but uh, we Americans bastardize their language anyway, so. The Heart Machine with uh, Disclosure. Uh, it's a fantastic album. I wish uh, that they were still around. Everyone left because apparently Al Moomin, the guitarist, couldn't play his parts live. So, obviously that's a big issue, and they all left because uh, he... Ref I, I don't know what, exactly what happened, but that's the long and the short of it. Next, we have Him. Uh, these first four, uh, the first four albums here 
are in slip cases because each piece, uh, as you can see, makes a piece of the hardogram. Let's see if I can uh, put it together here. Let's see. It's it's hard to do when you have uh, four CDs like this. Uh, let's see. There. Anyway, you get the idea. And then the fourth one would go uh, go over here. So we have Greatest Love Songs, Volume 666. These slipcases are also really hard to pull in and out of. And they're also velvet, which is really cool. Then we have Razorblade Romance. Uh, we have Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights. And Love Metal. Uh, now, the versions of Love Metal and Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights have their bonus tracks. Um, for Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights, it's You Are the One and In Love and Lonely. Uh, for Love Metal, it's Love's Requiem. Uh, and then they all four <clears throat> have uh, re uh, CD uh, bonus discs with remixes. Next, we have Dark Light. This is the limited uh, internet edition, I think is what they called it. Uh, this bag has the little hardogram flashlight. Uh, this is the certificate of authenticity. Uh, it says, uh, this certificate verifies this is an authentic hymn special edition of the album Dark Light. This edition has been limited to a quantity of 20,000 and will not be produced in any other editions in the future. Uh, this is number 9,832 out of 20,000, and it is signed by the entire band. Uh, it has the book full of... Uh, handwritten lyrics by Villavalo. And then, uh, of course, the CD is in there with the bonus tracks, The Cage, which is on another, like a Digibook version. And then uh, the bonus track, uh, Venus in Our Blood. So, I picked this up for like eight bucks. I don't know how I found it this cheap. I guess the person just didn't know what they had. But that is one of my prized possessions for this collection. Then we have uh, the Deluxe Edition of Venus Doom. Uh, deluxe Edition of Screamworks, Love and Theory and Practice, Chapters 1 through 13. Uh, this uh, has a bonus disc with the Baudelaire and Braille version of this album, where it's an entirely acoustic album, uh, or version of the album, which is really awesome. And then their final album, Tears on Tape, uh, Deluxe Edition, has a bonus DVD with some live performances. Again, one of my favorite goth rock bands of all time. Really sad that they broke up, but uh, Villavalo is doing new, uh, new solo stuff. He released an EP, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, on under the uh, just his initials VV uh, called Gothic Fenica Part One. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what he does with that. Next, we have the Human Abstract with Midheaven, and we have. Uh, moving on to the eyes, okay. Uh, I thought we had more ages. Uh, we have Isan. I don't know if this is Angle or Angel. I'm pretty sure, knowing Isan, it's probably Angel. It's lowercase A N G capital L. Then we have After. And then Arctis. Uh, I have this one uh, that my parents sent me when they were living in Germany for a little bit uh, from a band called Illuminium called Underdogs. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> uh, but they are, uh, like, uh, I think they're Latvian or Lithuanian. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, they were, like, street vending, and my de my parents, uh, or my dad picked that up for me. So I, I really should listen to it, but I haven't yet. Next we have In Flames with Lunar Strain. Uh, this version has the Subterranean EP on it. Let me put these back really quick. And we have Horacle, Clayman, uh, Reroute to Remain, Soundtrack to Your Escape, A Sense of Purpose. This is the deluxe uh, digipack. Uh, in unpopular opinion, I think this album is actually really good. It's the first In Flames album I heard. Uh, it's not. It's my favorite next to Horacle. Uh, a lot of people don't like that album. I love it though. Sounds of a Playground Fading, this is the Deluxe Edition, uh, and we have the Deluxe Digibook Edition of Siren Charms, Deluxe Edition of Battles, and then this album was actually a good return return to form somewhat for them, uh, Eye the Mask, and it's the Deluxe Edition of that as well. Let's see here. There we go. 
go. There we go. Uh, and then I also have Foreign Flames, the Used and Abused in Live We Trust DVD. It's actually a two DVD set. Next we have Insomnium with Since the Day It All Came Down. Uh, One for Sorrow. Shadows of the Dying Sun. Winter's Gate. And Heart Like a Grave. Insomnium, another band that just hasn't released a bad album. Next up, we have Inter Arma with Sulfur English. Then we have Iron Mask with Black as Death. And then the only J, uh, we have Jesu with Heartache. And this also has uh, Dethroned, so it's a double EP. Um, Heartache was originally released uh, before this, and then Dethroned was newly released. All right. Moving on to the K's, we have uh, Icelandic, I guess you could call it Death Rock, Goth Rock, or Dark Wave, whatever you want to call it, Kailan Mikla with Not After Not, fantastic, fantastic album. Then we have Catatonia, one of my favorite bands of all time, again, uh, and just very, uh, they're masters at what they do. So we have Dance of December Souls. Brave Murder Day, Discouraged Ones, uh, then we have Brave Yesterdays, uh, this has uh, the Jehovah Elohim Meth EP, uh, a couple tracks from Dance of December Souls, um, the War Compilation Volume 1, the Four Funerals to Come EP, a couple tracks from Brave Murder Day, the Sounds of Decay EP, and the Saw You Drown EP, so nice collection of B-sides and EPs uh, there. Then we have Tonight's Decision, uh, Last Fair Deal Gone Down, <clears throat> Viva Emptiness, The Great Cold Distance. This is actually a reissue uh, with the uh, bonus with the bonus tracks Displaced, Dissolving Bonds, Code Against the Code, and Unfurl, as well as a couple of remixes. Uh, live Consternation, just a live CD. Night is the New Day. Dead End Kings, Dethroned and Uncrowned. This is the um, acoustic reworking of Dead End Kings. Then we have Sanctitude, which is a live CD DVD set where they toured, uh, did an acoustic show <clears throat> in support of Dethroned and Uncrowned, and they took a bunch of songs and made them acoustic. This is probably one of the best like executions of that if you compare it to something like Synthesis and Aurora, but anytime a band's able to take their songs make them completely... Uh, set, or sound almost completely different, but yet still have that same feel of the original song. This is probably the best example of that. Then we have The Fall of Hearts. Uh, this is the deluxe edition, and in a shadow box up here above my desk, I actually uh, I ordered this one from Newberry Comics when it came out, uh, and it came with a second booklet that's signed by the band, which is really cool. Uh, glad it's not in here, and I can keep that separate. Then we have two 2020 releases from the band. We have their studio album, City Burials. Uh, this is the deluxe digibook. Uh, I'm sure you noticed that that was the case with like the Fall of Hearts and Dethroned and Uncrowned and stuff like that. And then there are the 2020 release, Dead Air. This is the um, live CD DVD set uh, from their uh, studio performance in uh, Grund Hall that they did earlier this year because of uh, COVID-19. Uh, so really cool that they released that. Uh, and made it accessible to everyone. Um, I'm hoping that um, Pussifer does the same thing with their live in Arcasante uh, show that they did. Because I really wanted to watch that one, but I unfortunately wasn't able to afford it at the time. Let's see. You'll have to forgive me as I'm putting stuff away here. Alright, next up for the K's, we have, uh, to finish out the K's rather, we have corn. I used to have everything, I had to sell a lot of it to pay bills, um, a few, like, 
two a year and a half two years ago so i don't have all of it anymore but i do have quite a bit of it back we have the self-titled life is peachy follow the leader issues uh and this isn't the regular cover i forgot this is like the secondary cover um, which I, th I think is a bit rarer because, um, they held a contest to design the cover, uh, and this is one of the runner-ups, uh, this is the one that you normally see, and then these three were the, uh, runner-ups, so I think it's cool that, uh, I found one that doesn't have the, uh, original cover. Uh, take a look in the mirror, deluxe edition, then jumping way forward, the deluxe edition of the Path of Totality, uh, has the bonus DVD, uh, The Encounter, where the where they perform live in the cornfield in uh, Bakersfield. And we have the Paradigm Shift. This is the deluxe edition, not the tour edition, that has uh, two bonus tracks, as well as the DVD Reconciliation. This is the first album that had uh, Brian Head Welch back in the band. And then their most recent album, The Nothing. All right, moving on to the L's. We have Lacey Sturm with Life Screams. We have Lacuna Coil with In a Reverie. Unleashed Memories, which also has the Half-Life EP. And Coma Lies. Then we have Lamb of God with their 2020 uh, self-titled album. Next we have Leaves Eyes uh, with Love Lorn. Uh, Vinland Saga. The Legendland BP. Uh, this one is the Nord Special Fan Edition. It has the album Nord as well as the At Heaven's End EP. Then we have Mere Dead, uh, the Deluxe Digibook. Symphonies of the Night, the Deluxe Digipack. And then we have King of Kings, Deluxe Digibook. Uh, this was the last album with Liv Christine, unfortunately. Um, uh, the new album that came out in 2020, as well as Dragon Heads, whenever that came out, with their new singer, I didn't care for. It's it, it's just, it was bad. It was very, very bad. I feel like they're an example of why you shouldn't marry your bandmate. Uh, uh, it, if you didn't know, Liv, Liv Christine was married to Alexander Kroll. Uh, and when they separated, she they kicked her out of the band, which sucked. Uh, next we have Legend of the Seagull Men with their self-titled. Uh, this is a side project with uh, Danny Carey from Tool, Brent Hines from Mastodon. Uh, very interesting, to say the least. Uh, like a Storm. Uh, we have the beginning of the end, which I looked for forever. This is signed by the band. It's also personalized uh, to a guy named Troy. Uh, Troy, if you're from the Nashville area and you sold this to McKay's, why would you? Uh, this is signed. It's personalized to you. Uh, but that's where I bought it. Uh, this is my favorite album from them. And then we also have Awaken the Fire. Then we have Lindsay Schoolcraft with... Uh, her uh, rushing towards or rushing through the sky EP, uh, this, and she did sign it. Former keyboardist of Cradle of Filth, of course. I need to get her other two albums, um, Martyr and Worlds Away. Next, we have Lindemann, which is the side project of Till Lindemann from Rammstein, as well as uh, Peter Taktgren. Uh, we have Skills and Pills, and their 20, uh, 2019 release, excuse me, I, for some reason I thought this came out last year, uh, Frau und Mann, uh, F&M. Uh, and this is the deluxe book with uh, two bonus tracks. Uh, the original version of the single they released, Mathematik, and Ach so gern, uh, the, ver the pain version, uh, which is uh, like a rock version for that Peter Tactikern did. Next we have Linkin Park. With Hybrid Theory, this is the 20th anniversary edition. I found this used at McKay's, like, right when it came out, which was weird. Uh, and for some reason, um, that single they released to promote this isn't on here. So, that's uh, interesting. Then we have Meteora. Uh, live from Texas. We have Minutes to Midnight. This is the deluxe book. All 
All right, then we have a thousand suns, living things, the hunting party, and one more light. And then for the last L, we have Luca Torelli, a uh, former guitarist of Rhapsody of Fire. Uh, he was in Rhapsody of Fire when he released this. King of the Nordic Twilight. All right, moving on to the M's. First up, we have Mastodon with Blood Mountain. Was, uh, funnily enough, Blood and Thunder wasn't on this album. Uh, Crack the Sky and the Cold Dark Place EP. All right, then we have Mayhem with Grand Declaration of War. Then we have Memory Garden with Mirage. All right, next up we have Meshuga with Catch 33. I used to have a lot more from them. That's the only one I have now, unfortunately. Next up we have Mr. Misery with Absence. Moi de Moi with Nocturnal Opera. All right, and Monolith with Monolith 4. Moonrike with Fugue, and apparently this was limited to only like a thousand copies or something, and I only paid like five bucks for this, so that's cool. <clears throat> Next up we have Moonspell with Darkness and Hope. The Antidote, a Memorial. Under Satanai, this is uh, actually a compilation of the Under the Moon spell, uh, I think it's demos, uh, Ano Satanai and Serpent Angel. I don't know if they're demos or EPs, but still really cool. Released all as one work. Then we have Night Eternal, Alpha Noir, Extinct, and until uh, later this year, this is their most recent album, 1755, and it's only in this little cardboard slipcase because this was sent to a radio station for promo, and uh, of course radio stations here in Tennessee are never going to play this, so it probably just immediately ended up at McKay's. Next we have Morgion with Cloaked by Ashes, Crowned in Earth. Motionless in White with Creatures, the Deluxe Edition of Infamous, and... Uh, their 2020 album, I believe, is when this came out. Let me double check that here. No, this was 2019. Okay. Uh, Disguise. Then we have Muir, which is a band from the Nashville area with their self-titled. We have My Chemical Romance, Life on the Murder Scene. Uh, this actually should have been after this one. Uh, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. The Black Parade. And Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. Then we have, to finish out this uh, this part, we have My Dying Bride with uh, As the Flower Withers, uh, Turn Loose the Swans, The Angel in the Dark River, Like Gods of the Sun, The Light at the End of the World, Songs of Darkness, Words of Light, A Line of Deathless Kings, for Lies I Sire, uh, A Map of All Our Failures, uh, I also have a Vinta, uh, I don't have it with me, uh, I have a friend who's borrowing it uh, that I need to get it back from because she's had it for almost a year now. <laughs> uh, then we have Feel the Misery, and then there are two 2020 releases, The Ghost of Orion, as well as Mac the Macabre Cabaret EP. So that's going to do it for this part, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Take care.